Hi, I will use a, a Plasmid Editor APE to demonstrate how to do restriction enzyme analysis on a Plasmid DNA. So first let's open APE, then go to File, Open. I'm going to pick the PMSH2 sequences uh, for demonstration. So this is a Plasmid DNA carrying the wild type MSH2 gene. So this is Plasmid DNA, so this should be circular. Make sure this is circular. And then I go to Enzymes, pick Enzyme Selector. I'm going to pick XBA1. This is a restriction enzyme. When I highlight on, on the enzyme, you will see at the bottom, uh, at the, 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 at the screen at the bottom, you show this is the TCTAGA. Uh, so this is a six base pair, six base pair cutter. And this has one uh, uh, recognition site in PMSH2. And then I'm going to uh, pick APA1. And if you look at the bottom, at this screen, uh, once I move my mouse to APA1, you will see this is GGGCC cut C. So at the at the bottom screen, you will see the this is also six base pair cutter. So usually, uh, the long the more uh, the longer a restriction enzyme recognize, the less it will cut in a piece of DNA. Simply because uh, the longer it have, the the chance to find the longer pattern will be smaller. Okay, so I'm going to now click say graphic map there so that's our uh, uh, graphic map of plasmid PMSH2 with APA1 cut and XBA1 cut so what does this map mean so now I'm going to uh, uh, join use join to to show something so so basically the APA1 going to cut at one position called 2082, 2082 position. And the plasma is presumably there is a one position of one somewhere and goes all the way to 9325 uh, eventually. Uh, and then there is uh, another cut at 6509. So since this is circular, I have two cut, this, this circle going to be cut into two pieces we need to find out uh, the size of these two pieces. So one position is 6509, the other position is 2082. And the difference between these two sides, the length will be the size of the this red fragment. And this red fragment, the length will be so 6509 minus 20, 82 and this turned out to be uh, 4427 I calculated bef beforehand so so this red fragment is 44 uh, 27 base pair now on the top that's a different fragment so let me use the blue color so we need to find out the, the size of this blue fragment, and we know the we know the total size uh, of this plasmid is nine three twenty five, and we know that the one fra the other fragment is forty four twenty seven, so the remaining part will be the blue fragment. This should be forty eight ninety eight base pair. So there. So we have for this uh, circular plasmid, we are going to. Uh, uh, cut it twice, APA1 cut once, XBA1 cut another time, and then the, this circular molecule can be cut into two pieces. One piece is 4427, the other piece is 4898. Uh, Unfortunately, on the APE, it can do this automatically. So we go to Enzyme, Enzyme Selector, and uh, you see at the bottom there is a button called Digest. We click on the digest, it actually cut it automatically. So if you recall, we, we should see two fragments. You need there are two fragments here. One is 4427, the other one is 4898. 
but when we run them on the gel, so at the right hand side here, this is a, a simulated agarose gel running. And those are the ladders, size ladders. So bottom is 100 base pair, oh, 200, 300, uh, 400, what's this, 1650, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000. Right, so between 4,000 and 5,000, that's the two fragment. One is 4427. This is 4427, the lower one. It's also the middle fragment between APA1 cut and XBA1 cut. The top one <coughs> is 4898 base pair. That's the this fragment. It's then on the plasmid is this one. It was the blue fragment in my PowerPoint uh, demonstration. Okay, I. Uh, Please uh, do this exercise on a different plasmid and then uh, figure out, uh, we can pick a, a different enzyme or use the same enzyme and see whether, uh, how, how, then try to estimate the size first on the paper and then run simulation, see whether your estimation are the same as APE does. Okay, have fun.